We are skipping slide 13 and 14 for now. Um, we're going to come back to those after Christmas. So we are going to learn about parallel and perpendicular lines. So for parallel lines, description of appearance. So parallel lines means any lines that never intersect. I'll make this a little bigger. Intersect. So whenever you have parallel lines, I'm going to draw a line with arrows on it. I'm going to make it a little thicker. And then if I want it to be another line that's parallel, I'm going to copy and paste this. And you see that those are the exact same slope. Um, they don't have one is not steeper than the other. So they're the exact same slope. So these are two parallel lines. So go ahead and draw your two parallel lines. Draw one and then copy and paste to make the second one. What's the, what is the difference between like the two different I don't think there's a difference between like I just like this one because it's filled in more it's preference or you can even do this one the one with the arrow that's not all the way shaded yeah it doesn't matter honestly okay so let's go ahead and write about slopes so I'm gonna make this bigger automatically parallel lines have the exact same slope so slope same one is not steeper than the other. They have the exact same steepness. The thing that is different about parallel lines, though, is that their y-intercept will be different. So this says, remember, parallel lines have the same slope. Okay, um, we'll come back to slide 15. Let's go to perpendicular and talk about that now. So go to slide 18. We have perpendicular lines. So perpendicular lines, they intersect at a 90 degree angle. We can also put their right angle. Do what? Really? Well, now you know. Dun, dun, dun. Things you should know. Okay, the thing about, oh, we need to draw perpendicular lines. All right, so I'm going to draw a line. And I want this to have arrows. And I want it to be a little thicker. I'm going to copy and paste, but this time I need to make it have a right angle. So I'm going to have to rotate it till it looks like a right angle. That one is not quite there. These look pretty close. There we go. So see if you can manipulate your line so that they do look like a right angle. 
something that we can put to um, tell whoever's looking at this that it is a right angle. I remember the, yeah, square. Uh, the line tool. Oh, you know what we could do? Just make a square. What am I thinking? Yes, that's what Carter said. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that looks okay, right? It's not perfect, but I have got to be okay with it not being perfect, right? Oh, look at that. That looks pretty great. <laughs> I think I'm going to make this a little thicker and then take out and just make that transparent. There we go. Yours looks so perfect. Don't be OCD. Really? <laughs> Just because I finally got it. It's okay. We'll be all right if it's not perfect. Just okay is not okay. Okay. So if we look, let's look at these two lines. So I'm going to look at this one first. Thank you. I'm sorry for this. Okay, so if we look at this first line, what kind of slope is this? Is it positive or negative? Negative. Okay, so this one's negative. And then what about the other one? Positive. positive. <clears throat> okay, so if you have them vertical and horizontal, like, oh, let's see. If you make um vertical and horizontal like a t oh that's what i did yeah if you do like that uh, let me thicken this up because th these are also perpendicular Then what do we notice about the horizontal line? What kind of slope is that? Zero. Zero, yeah. And the, and the other one's undefined. So a zero slope and an undefined slope are perpendicular. And then a positive slope would have to be perpendicular to a negative slope. So our slopes... are going to be opposite reciprocals. Remember reciprocal, what that means? Reciprocal is where you flip. Like if it's four, then the reciprocal would be one over four. If it's two over three, the reciprocal would be three over two. And opposite means the opposite sign. So I'm going to write down here, like what that means. So I'm going to put flip the fraction and change the sign. That's what a reciprocal means. Well, opposite reciprocal means flip the fraction, change the sign. And then the y-intercept, it could be the same or different. It doesn't matter. Okay. 
So let's write down some quick notes in our journal really quick. Quick notes really quick. If I can get this skill. Okay, so parallel lines. Same slope. Different y intercept. Perpendicular lines. Opposite reciprocal slope same or different y intercept So I'm going to put on here slides 15 through, I think it's 20, something like that. So we'll start with slide 15, which is strictly parallel lines. Are we going to have an assignment today, Mr. Sultan? Yes. Okay, so let's go to slide 15. Okay, so this says write the equation on the line that passes through point negative 2, 7 and it's parallel to y equals negative 4x plus 1. Okay, so let's write that information down. I'm going to write parallel to y equals four, negative 4x four plus 1 through Miss 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 2, 7. Yeah, I needed need to look at that before I switched over. There we go. So I'm going to write a little note out to the side. If it's parallel, that means same slope. And it gives us a slope real easy, negative 4. So we know that m equals negative 4. And it's going through negative 2, 7. So we have learned two different ways to write the equation of the line that when we're given the slope and a point. One way would be y equals mx plus b. Plug in the x and y and solve for b. And then the other way is that point slope form that we did yesterday. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Did you like one better than the other? The first one, y'all are like, what? The first one was to do y equals mx plus b. Find out the b and then write your equation. Then the second one was do y minus y1 equals the first one. The first one. The first one? Okay, let's do that. So y equals mx plus b. If you like the other one better, go for it, okay? So we are going to plug in 
This is x, this is y. So we'll have 7 equals negative 4 times a negative 2 plus b. We're solving for b and then rewriting the equation. This one's easier? Okay. 7 equals negative 4 times a negative 2 plus a plus b, and then subtract 8. So b is negative 1 equals b. So now that we have that, we can write our equation. y equals, what's our slope? Negative 4x plus, what's our b? Minus b. Minus b. Minus 1. All right. What do y'all think about that? Easy. easy. Parallel, pretty easy. So let's go ahead. I'm going to have y'all do... The next one, let's see if I can get it pulled up. All right, so we'll go ahead and write the equation. Y equals negative 4X minus 1. Okay, so example two says write the equation of the line that passes through point three negative one and is parallel to the line x minus three y equals nine. So I wrote that down. Okay, so if it's parallel, it's going to have the same slope. But we don't have the slope. So what do we have to do? Yep, solve for y. So we can find the slope. So x minus 3y equals 9 minus x minus x. Negative 3y equals negative x plus 9. And then what do we do? Thank you. So divide by negative three. So our equation for the original line is y equals negative over negative. It's positive. So what is this up? Huh? Yeah, one third x. Minus 3. So the only thing we care about from that line is our slope. So m equals 1 third. Wait, how did you get 1 third out of x over 2? Um, what's the coefficient of x if there's nothing there? 1. So that's how we got the 1 third. All right, so now we're going to do the y equals mx plus b to find what our b is. So plug in an x and a y. So y is negative 1 equals 1 third times 3 plus b. So I plugged in the m is 1 third, the x is 3, and the y is negative 1. I'm going to solve for b. So you get the slope from the first line or from the first thing and then the, the y intercept from the second, right? Yes, because we're saying it's parallel to this. So the only thing we need from this line is the slope. That's it. We don't care about anything else on this line because for it to be parallel, we know that the slope is the same. So if it's the same slope, all I need is that one third. 
Once I have the one third, I already know it goes through the three negative one. So then I'm working to find my y intercept on my new line. So one third of three is one plus b. And then what do I do? Subtract one. I get negative two equals B. Yeah. It's already a positive one. So in order to get it to the other side, I got to do the inverse, which is minus one. Oh, I thought you were subtracting from the Y side. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. We want to get B by itself. And what's keeping B from being by itself? The one. The one. That's why. Good questions. Okay, so then our new equation is y equals, what's our slope? One third, one third x. And what's our b? Minus two. Minus two. Can we check these in the calculator? Yes. Yeah, all we have to do is plug them in uh, to y equals and make sure they look parallel. And then the next thing you would check is make sure that your new line goes through three negative one. All right, is this too hard or just requires some work, right? All right, let me pull up the digital journal. So let's write our equation. Y equals one third X minus two. Okay, we're going to go to slide 18 now. Slide 18 is talking about perpendicular. We're going to do example three. Did I pick the right one? Yeah. Write the equation of the line that passes through point four, three, and is perpendicular to... Y equals 2X minus 4, and it is through 4, 3. So if we're talking about lines that are perpendicular, we know we have to flip and change the sign because they're opposite reciprocal. So that's what I'm going to write out to the side. Flip and change the sign. So this line is the one that's going to be perpendicular to. So we're going to go ahead and write out M equals 2. Now we need to write out the slope of the new line. So M equals, we need to flip it and change the sign. There's no denominator here, though. So what is it? Over 1. So then we flip it, making it 1 over 2. And change the sign so it's a negative one over two. Negative half. So I'm gonna write that over here. M equals negative one over two. Yes. Because it's perpendicular. So remember perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal, same or different y-intercepts. So opposite reciprocal means to flip and change the sign. Opposite means change the sign. Reciprocal means flip. Numerator to denominator. So now we're going to, we have a slope. We have through the point. We don't care about this anymore. Okay. 
The only thing we got from here was our slope, and then we flipped it and changed the sign. So we have y equals mx plus b. Plug in our x, our y, and our slope. So we have 3 equals negative 1 over 2 times x, which is 4, plus b. So we get 3 equals negative 1 over 2 times 4. What is that? Negative 2, good. Plus b. And then how do we get b by itself? Plus 2, plus 2. We're left with 5 equals b. So when we rewrite our equation, we know the slope is negative half, and the b is 5. So we got y equals negative 1 over 2x plus 5. I do want to show you all this in the calculator, though. So get your calculator out or pull it up on your um, computer. And we're going to put these two in the calculator. 2x minus 4 is y1. y2 is negative 1 over 2x plus 5. Okay, whenever you graph it, let's look at what that looks like. Okay, does that look parallel? Okay. Yes. No, it doesn't look like a right angle. It doesn't look like a T. It looks more like an X. Um, so the thing is, these are not proportionate. Like the X axis and the Y axis aren't proportionate. So what you have to do is you have to hit zoom. We have to change how it looks. So hit zoom. And I want it to be a square so that it's all squared up. Once you make it, make the graph a square, then it looks like a right angle. So hit zoom and then go to five. It's like if, it, if, you, if you didn't get it right and then you did like the square, would it, like, would it still make a square? So if you got a wrong equation, yes, like if you didn't do your slope right yes, and you went to square, then it wouldn't look like a right angle. Okay. So it wouldn't look like this. Right. So if you kind of rotate it, see how that looks like a T exactly. The other way, whenever it was on Zoom standard, I think standards the right way. Whenever you rotate it, and I'm trying to get like, this to be straight up and down and this to be sideways. See how that doesn't look like a right angle? All I changed was how the grid was set up. The coordinate grid was set up. So go to square. We want it to square up. So if it's correct, it looks like a, it looks like a right angle on the view. Yes. Right. So if you did it correctly, then when you make it, whenever you zoom square, it'll look exactly like a right angle. So... I'm going to try to like line mine up um, according to my like X, like straight up and then horizontal and vertical. I'm turning it like that. So it really looks like the T. We can tell it's right angle like this, but if I just kind of turn it, tilt it, we can definitely tell that's a T. Okay, let's go to the next example. Write the equation of the line that passes through all right, and is perpendicular to that. So I'm going to write, and I'll show you mine in a sec, perpendicular, just the keywords here, to 5x plus 3y equals negative 21, and then through point negative 5, 1.
Okay, so we know it's going to be perpendicular to this, but this is not in y equals form. So we need to solve for y because we don't know the slope just by looking at it like that. Once we solve for y and put it in the y equals mx plus b form, you can find out what your m is and then do the opposite reciprocal. So I'm going to rewrite it by x plus 3y equals negative 21. So I need to solve it for y, so subtract 5x on both sides. I want to, in mx plus b form, so 3y equals negative 5x minus 21. And then divide by 3. Like that. So then we have y equals negative 5 over 3x. And then 21 over 3, negative seven. 7, negative 7. We don't really care about that, though. The only thing we care about is this. M equals negative 5 over 3. So what is our new M? I'm going to write it over here. It will be 3 over 5. 3 over 5, yep. And it's positive because this one's negative, so this one's positive. Flip and change the sign. So now we write the y equals mx plus b, plug in our m and our b. I mean, plug in our m and x and y to solve for b. There we go. So x, y. So we have 1 equals m, 3 over 5, x times negative 5 plus b. So it's 1 equals 3 over 5 times a negative 5. Negative 3, yep. Plus B. Add 3 to both sides. So 4 equals B. So we need to write our equation y equals 3 over 5x plus 4. You can check it in your calculator. I forgot to type it in here, so I'm going to type both of them in. Y equals negative 1 over 2 x plus 5. And then the other one is y equals 3 over 5 x plus Okay, your assignment is um, is actually to do so. Homework is to do this in your journal, slide sixteen and slide nineteen. That's a total of how many questions? Eight. Eight total questions. 16 and 19. That's your assignment. Make sure you work it out um, in your journal. And you're actually going to take pictures this time and upload them into your journal. And tomorrow morning, I will check them. And either you did it and you get 100, you didn't do it, and you get a zero. Okay. We'll go over and make sure you have the right answers. But as long as you put forth the effort and did it, you're going to make 100. Okay. Y'all can help each other out on it. Just make sure you show work and insert your pictures.